ballpark flame grilled beef patties. But ladies and gentlemen of the audience, that's not where it ends. Microwave or grill in minutes. Ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube audience, I don't know where to begin with the situation that we find ourselves in today. Today, today is not just one small step for man. This No, this is one small step for microwaves. You're telling me, you're telling me that there is a microwavable hamburger patty. That's an interesting one. I've been looking for one of these for a long time. You see, the thing is, is that microwaving chicken sandwiches every single day for your entire life gets a bit monotonous. Monotonous is a good word for it. And what I've always wanted is a microwavable burger. Because you see, the thing is, is that cooking on this is a complete joke. A frying pan is not, not great. Not great. I, I've, I've had better. So here's my fucking chicken sandwiches plate. <laughs> um... There. There's my not chicken sandwiches plate. This is my everything plate. Um, we're going to put that plate there. And we are going to open this one, 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 one hand. Come on. Um, expiration date. Best buy is September 2nd, 2024. So that's good. We're not going to open this with one hand. Oh my goodness. We might not even open it with two hands. Okay, there we go. Oh... Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Mmm, doesn't that look appetizing? Um, so we're gonna make... <laughs> we're gonna make two of these. <laughs> oh, my God. What is the camera doing? What was that? Oh, I apologize for whatever that was. This phone likes to, like, stutter for absolutely no reason um, whenever I turn it on and off. But, like, I have to turn it off, otherwise the battery will fucking die. Because, like, just recording this for ten minutes is probably going to use up ten percent of the battery. It's just like, yeah, so, yeah, that's, that's, that's going in there. That is indeed going in there. What are the cook times, you may be asking? Heating instructions. For best results, prepare from frozen. All right. So, we got Elsa on the case. Um, microwave preparation. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Place frozen patty on microwave safe plate. Cover with paper towel. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, let's, let's do that. Okay. Here's some paper towels. These are Viva paper towels. I have no idea what paper towels those are. They have been here since I bought this house a year ago. It, it's been a year. This is the fucking one year anniversary of me living here video. I don't actually know how long I'm supposed to put these in for. Do we know? Microwave on high for 65 to 75 seconds. Oh. Okay. For microwaves, may need to add 5 seconds at a time. Until hot. So, two, min two and a half minutes may have been a bit much, but there are two patties in there. So you'd think we'd want to double the amount of time. That's just, the, that's just, the, that's just where, where I'm coming from. I guess we may as well prepare the buns. Um, we're gonna use the healthy buns. <laughs> we're gonna use the healthy buns. These are the best buns on the market because the original keto buns are have not been in Walmart since like June. These, you just, you cannot beat these fucking, uh, these stats. So that's 23 grams of carbs, but 18 of it is dietary fiber. And they're 50 calories each. I mean, there's just no beating these unless you got the original keto buns. But, you know, no one's got the original keto buns anymore. And the other keto buns, the fucking Brownsberry ones or whatever, the fucking Brickleberry buns. That fucking TV show that no one watched. It's on Comedy Central. Fucking. But then again, you know, Daily Show with Trevor Noah was also on Comedy Central. Did y'all see that he got fired? He was so painfully unfunny that he completely sunk the, uh... Those are actually pretty warm. I'm gonna put them in for just a little bit longer. Yeah, he completely sunk the show with a built-in, like, the most popular show on Comedy Central. 
Sometimes I think it beat out South Park. And he managed to absolutely fucking derail the entire thing. Meanwhile, Jon Stewart's going on Colbert questioning, like, something, something. Uh, I'm not exactly confident in Jon Stewart uh, having a redemption arc, but, like, he'll be better than Trevor Noah in any case. Anyway, that was a long aside. These burgers are... I hear them sizzling. Are, are, are they warm? Yeah. I'm gonna put them in for just a wee bit. Just a wee bit. Just a wee bit longer, ma. Just a wee bit longer, laddie. Just a wee bit. I say as I walk away from the microwave. Cheese. Or should I say... Cheese. There we go. There, I got the reference in there. Alright. Okay, that's enough of that. So, what are the nutrition facts on this? One patty is 230 calories with 21 grams of fat, 9 grams of saturated fat. We even got some trans fat, so representation in this burger. 55 milligrams of cholesterol, which is apparently 18% of your daily value. So I'm about to eat half your daily value of cholesterol. It has... 330 milligrams of sodium, which is surprisingly low, and amazingly only 11 grams of protein. What the fuck is in this shit, if not protein? It's definitely not pure beef. Beef patty. I feel like that's a bit of false advertisement right there. What kind of ungodly ingredients are in this? We've got beef Water contains 2% or less encapsulated salt. Seasoning, that is maltodextrin, sodium phosphate, grill flavor from sunflower oil, modified cornstarch, disodium inosinate, and disodium guanolate, corn syrup solids, torula least, and sodium phosphate. Wow. This is hideous. Nothing beats the taste of grilled meat. Which is exactly why we've decided to create this ungodly Frankenstein's monster that, cr that contains maybe 10% at most of grilled meat. Anyway, that's going in the freezer. I'm going to put that right there. Yeah, this is my freezer. This is the extent of it. You got my chicken sandwiches that I'm eating now, and my chicken sandwiches I'll eat in the future, as well as a singular Quest pizza. Um, this is pretty full for once. Well, it was a few days ago. I, I had I made the taco dip. You remember that from Cooking with Kamikaze? There was a shit ton of ingredients when I did that. Um, but, you know, we got fucking, you know, the usual stuff over there. Got some milk. Got my keto yogurts. You know, it's not... Very interesting in there, actually. I've, I've realized now. Okay. Pulling these out of the microwave. Oh, they have ruined the plate. Oh. oh, baby, oh, baby. Look at that. You know what? It's not nearly as greasy as usual. I will, um... I'm gonna drop the uh, act now. I've had these multiple times in the past, so... But I've never made a video about them. So, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna, um, take some, uh, executive actions when it comes to the, uh, quality of this right here. Uh, let's do a big ol' flip -a rooney Another big ol' flip -a rooney right here. I'm gonna, yeah, we're gonna dab, dab, dab on there. Dab, dab. I'm gonna dab, dab. You see they changed the dollop of Daisy fucking song? I saw that commercial and I was like, what is this? This is sacrilegious. Dollop of Daisy has been like the same song for like the last 30 years. And they decided to make it into, you know, an even more generic, you know, pop song. Fucking gonna get a Taylor Swift cover of that. Can I just say, I'm a trailblazer when it comes to hating things. I've hated Taylor Swift ever since 2009, bitch. All these grifter conservatives coming out. And they only hate... Uh, Taylor Swift now that it's ex uh, politically expedient. I've hated Taylor Swift since 2009 when it was like the peak of her fucking, you know, newcoming popularity. Maybe not necessarily like the peak of her popularity, like, as a recording artist. But like, 
you know, she was brand new to the scene, and everyone was like, oh my god, this is the greatest fucking musician to ever live, and I'm like, this is not even the best female country singer. Today. Like, you want to talk about all-time greats, you know, Dolly Parton, Patsy Cline, you know. But then, think about fucking people that were performing at the time. Martina McBride is better. Carrie Underwood just destroyed Taylor Swift in any head-to-head -head competition that you could ever imagine. You know. But that's neither here nor there. I made the uh, bet on Twitter that if, uh, or I mean on X, that if the Chiefs win the fucking Super Bowl again, I will review every Taylor Swift album. And let me tell you, the Chiefs are all but guaranteed to win this fucking Super Bowl because they're the worst. It's the worst Chiefs team ever since Mahomes joined. And they just walked to the Super Bowl because everyone else has decided, nah, I'm actually going to fucking just lay over. So, I, I don't expect San, San Francisco to do anything different. I mean, they had what was it, Garoppolo in 2020 when they played them last? I don't think Brock Purdy's actually good. Like, he has one good play every game. Like, he has, like, one dynamite play every game that makes him look like he could be the greatest, you know, future quarterback of all time. But then, fucking, there's all my tax information. Hopefully that was blurred enough. <laughs> Hopefully that was not, you know, in view of anything. I'm going to have to actually watch this video back before posting it. Some bullshit's what it is. Anyway... Christian McCaffrey could carry the uh, uh, the 49ers to the Super Bowl win, but, like, is he really gonna? Is he gonna? Anyway, this is gonna be a bit, you know, biased due to the fact that, it's, that I'm eating this with the best buns on planet Earth. But I think we'll still get a pretty good judgment of how are the ballpark frozen microwavable burger patties. Every single instinct is telling me to not take a bite of this. Every single instinct that I have in my entire, like, you know, eight billion years of evolution is telling me do not consume this. And yet. Hmm. See, there's not a whole lot of flavor. I might have dabbed them a little bit too much this time. But, um, yeah. It's not much of a step up from a gas station burger. Mm. And these fucking things, you get six of these fucking patties for $8.75 at Dollar General. Plus tax, it may as well be it may as well be nine dollars. You are paying a dollar sixty six for every single beef patty. This is not worth a dollar sixty six. Like fuck off. First of all, second of all, I would much rather get a good gas station burger. You know, like a Senex burger. Yeah, that's some good shit right there. But like. The burger's only going to be whatever you make of it because um, it's, you know, not a gas station burger. You just get the frozen patties and then you make the burger however you like. But I think if you added, you know, traditional burger toppings that I don't get because I don't have anything else but cheese on my burgers and ketchup, obviously. You know, I don't think adding anything is going to make this any better. It's still pure unadulterated yuck there are no redeeming qualities to this burger the only thing that makes it worthwhile is that you can microwave it i used to get the uh uh like the 85 percent lean or yeah burgers that are frozen from walmart but like they cook so badly and get freezer burn easily so like yeah, 
Anyway, I'm gonna eat both of these, and I will probably consume the other four patties that come in the fucking bag later on on some other day, but, you know. This is nasty. <laughs> do not, I repeat, do not purchase these. Do not consume these. I'm serious. I know this is a do as I say, not as I do situation. But I am fully aware of the fact that every single bite that I'm taking of this shit is taking a day off of my life. Off of my lifespan. Like, I could live to 94 years, 3 months, and 26 days. Now I'm going to live to 94 years, 3 months, and 25 days. I'm not even kidding. Anyway, these are nasty. And expensive, way fucking more expensive. I think you can get the fucking uh, bags that I was talking about at Walmart. You get like 10 or 11 of them in the bag and it's like $8. So like, do not buy these. Do not eat these. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in whatever it is that I eat next. Bye.